Good morning friends. In this problem, we need to find the intersecting node for any given two link list and we also need to return that intersecting node. So let's try to understand the problem. So given two link list which intersect at any given point. After that, like their nodes become common. So what we have to do? We just need to find that whether this link list intersect or not. And if they do, we need to return that intersecting node. Let's take more examples. So the intersecting point can be the head node of link list one, or it can be the last node of the link list one. Or there can be a case where two link lists are given, but they never intersect. Simple solution for this could be like we can traverse the link list one. We can take a variable which can hold the current node of link list one. And at this point, like we can traverse the whole link list two. Take another variable which will keep the current node of link list two while traversing. And we check whether the node of link list one is equal to the node of link list two. If they are equal, so that's the intersecting point and we can return it. But the problem with this solution is like it's not that efficient. So the better solution will be like I will count the number of nodes in link list one. Similarly, I will count the number of nodes in link list two. So now I can subtract those count and skip only that number of nodes from the larger linked list. In this case, it is linked list one. So I will skip one node from linked list one. The benefit of it is like I will start traversing both at the same time. I can traverse both the linked list at the same time. So I will go from each node and check whether they are equal or not. If they are equal, I can conclude like both linked lists are intersecting. And even I can return that particular intersecting node. So another solution to this problem is like I can traverse linked list one and while traversing, I will keep each node in a hash table. Now I can start traversing linked list two. And for each node, I will check whether that node exists in that hash table or not. So if it exists, I will return that intersecting node else null. So let's break the complete implementation into small functions. So in this function get length, I will supply with the head node of a linked list and I will have a counter variable that will keep on incrementing while going from one node to another till it encounters the null pointer. So the counter will be three, which is equivalent to the length of this particular linked list. Let's have a look on another function get pointer. So I will provide with the head pointer to this function and a div. So diff is basically the number of nodes I need to skip. So for this example, it is one. So after traversing uh, the linked list one, or I can say skipping the number of nodes that is one, I can return the current pointer. So the benefit of returning that current pointer is that like I can now traverse both the linked list at the same time. And we'll know like whether the common node or the intersecting node exists between these two linked list or not. Now let's have a look on the final function get first common node. So I will provide with the head nodes of both the linked list and traverse at the same time and check whether they are equal or not. So I can like here I am comparing the value but I can compare the node itself and return that particular intersecting node or the common node. Thank you for watching it. You can subscribe to watch more.